So recall that when we were working on the simplified Hello World coaster, and we were in the extrude dialog, you know, we had to select a sketch to extrude, and then there was an end type. And both times we selected blind, and there are a couple other options here. And so I just want to quickly talk about blind, through all, and symmetric since those are pretty easy to understand. So these are the end types, or another word for it is end conditions. So the end type defines how the extrude should end. So it's, it's defining how you control, how you control the extrude, the end of the extrude. So blind is what we used. First, we were using it to extrude a new solid as you recall, that's also step two in the extrusion process. And we defined a distance that the extrusion should go. Now with extrusion, instead of just building a new solid, you can also use it to remove or add material to your existing solid. So both times you would select blind. Here you would select a new solid and to remove material you would select remove or to add material you would select add but again you you are removing material from existing solid or adding to it and you are specifying a defined distance so you are controlling what distance to extrude to there's also the symmetric type of extrusion which by symmetric we just mean equal distance in both directions or opposite directions. So if you were extruding a new solid distance of one inch with the symmetric end condition, it would extrude upward 0.5 inches and downward 0.5 inches. And that total would be one inches. And then there's the through all end type and that means that the extrusion should go through all of the material. So instead of specifying a distance for the extrusion to go to, you are just saying go through everything. Now obviously you can't create an infinite mass, so you can't use through all for creating a new solid or adding material to a solid. You can only use the through all end type for removing material. So it's basically remove all material on the profile of this sketch. And that's what you see here. When you select through all on this hole, it will remove all of the material in this solid. And just another thing to note is that since this end type is through all, there's no distance we're defining. So the input box for depth will disappear. And so you can't actually define a depth since it's through all. So again, I just wanted to put this on your radar as we go through the different lessons, we'll encounter these different end conditions.